Okay, let's take a look at the box and uh, we'll kind of go from, we'll start from the beginning all the way uh, into the uh, box and how the box works. Okay, so this, this, this wire right here, this wire just plugs in. It's just nothing fancy. I bought it off Amazon. It plugs in right here, right in the bottom. Okay, now that wire just runs over here and it just bolts to my battery. When battery goes in the box, it just bolts onto it and that supplies power to my box. So nothing fancy, just comes in the bottom, plugs into the bottom, it goes to the box. Okay, on that, what it does is that wire comes in right here, comes in here, then I got my hot wire, comes around here to my fuse panel, to the positive side, and this here is the grounding wire. Comes right over here, plugs into my negative side. So that puts power to my fuse block. That's all it does. It doesn't go any further than that. Let me see if I can get this cover off here. There, okay. Let me get it pulled off here. So from here, these are just spare fuses. Don't worry about them. They're just some fuses I keep in there in case I'm in the woods and run into something. So here, I got power coming in. I got a three amp fuse that runs to this wire here, up here, and supplies power to my controller. This is a kill time uh, 4G timer or controller that I get off, I got off of Amazon. So I got my hot wire, and right here I got a ground, comes out of here, comes around, right here. So that's my ground to my, so I got hot and ground supplying power to my controller. This here is the antenna. This is where the antenna goes. It's just a the adapter comes in right here, comes in right here. It's got a plug right here. And then I just screw in my antenna to that bracket. And that gives me my antenna service through my box. Okay. Now this is your channel 1 solenoid. This is your channel 2 solenoid. I don't run my channel 2. I think in the near future I'm going to probably run something off this. Some, some more infrared lights. But that's for another video. Here, I got power. Right here, this blue wire sends power to my uh to my solenoid now this is goes to the normally open normally open side as you can see no let me get it focused normally open one that blue wire sends power to this all right this red wire is channel one it's your calm it's calm one just your communication it's it runs over here to this fuse block okay Sent over to this fuse block. So when I call it or send a set message on my, I text mine and I send it for a three second delay. So that signal, when I send it, sends power for three seconds from this, gets a signal, sends power from this over here to this fuse panel or this uh, terminal strip. From here, I got two red wires on there. And basically what these are, these are two plugs right here. They just plug in just like the normal wires. They just plug in, and what those wires do, sorry about that, and what those wires do, these go to my latches. I run two latches on this gate, so this wire here, it goes to the get signal, the black wire goes to the ground side of my fuse panel. Same thing on this, they're identical. They're, at, they're identical. So this goes to the ground, and this goes to the hot. So when I send signal power to this, it sends power to this, and it makes both of these hot. And what this wire here does, this wire here just goes to my my latch. This one runs the one that I run on my gate that my box connects to. So this don't have to be very long. It gets there. It's no problem. And then this here, this other wire comes out of this box. And I got a roller wire here. And you can see I got a plug right here. So it plugs in right there. And that goes to my other latch. So, and I, I put those, those style latches or clips on my gate latches. So they just plug in and I'm done. So it's pretty simple, nothing fancy. On my other hog trap, I only run one of these and they sell a, a splitter on Amazon. You just plug one and then it's got two pigtails on it. So you can plug both wires into one of these here and get the same thing. But at the time I had these parts on hand so I just decided to go with, with this option. So I'll come back over it one more time real slow. That way you can take a screen capture, take a video or whatever you need to do. But that, that's how I have mine set up. So. If you need any information, send me a message. I'm here to help people out. When I built mine, I didn't have a whole lot of help. I tried to get some help, but 
I, I kept saying once I ever get it figured out, I was going to send some information to whoever needed it. So don't hesitate to reach out. Thank y'all.